Hello everyone, I am Dr. Charles Pennick and I'm gonna answer a question today, how do we know if mold is toxic? Um, really good question. So there are so many different species uh, of mold out there um, and uh, one, one concept is simply this, that it's not a cut and dry um, uh, test that we can just say, hey, just because this mold is present, it means it's toxic. Um, we know that there are certain types that across the board create mycotoxins or mold toxins um, that can damage di different organ systems in the body that can impair cellular, cellular mechanisms that can impair mitochondria from uh, allowing our body to work the way that God designed it. Um, but one thing that we notice is that there's definitely mis many shades of gray and some people who may be exposed to certain mold toxins because of their genetics and many other factors like other environmental toxins that may be in their body, other um, chronic diseases or illnesses that they may have been um, dealing with uh, may have a lot more influenced by those mycotoxins or mold toxins um, on their body as opposed to another individual who may have the same level of exposure um, but a much different outcome. And uh, so it's really interesting. Um, it's not a cut and dry answer, but what we encourage is test the home, see what levels may be present or the workspace or the school space. Um, if those are options for you, that's, a lot of times those are very difficult to do. Um, uh, home for sure, must that's a must. And then test the levels inside of the body um, after a challenge. And then the goal is then to correlate the two um, along with the symptoms and see what we may be experiencing in any one individual. Um, I hope that's helpful information for you. All the best.